so i have literally just got filled on a long trade and this is a setup that i've given to everybody in my champions group basically what we're seeing here is a lot of fear the market's in a big uptrend and what we're doing is we're getting a pullback in an uptrend into support while simultaneously es is at cc support gc is on weekly support and bitcoin is coming into cc support so really simply this is what like i've been telling to my team uh, i had laddered laddered long orders filled which i've literally just got filled now and i'm saying you know es gc and bitcoin are reaching support markets getting more and more fearful i can't win them all so obviously i'm using risk management my stop loss by the way is below the low here so my stop loss is below the low um but i'm longing you know everybody is so fearful at support and this is like where i absolutely excel because i don't get fearful i don't get emotional i'm trading the charts it's not often that i lose these type of setups i'll update you either way whether this ends in a win or a loss i will let you know either way but uh, so i have uh <laughs> quite high confidence that this um you know we might get a bit more of a dip it doesn't matter as long as it hits my stop loss i've got two of three orders filled now um so yeah i'm looking for this to make its way back up here we'll have to see how this goes i have high confidence and uh looking to win more money on this one while everybody's fearful going into those longs and uh we'll have to see how this setup goes So we did get a bit of a heavier dip, but nevertheless, I am still in the long position along with many of the champion members. And right now there is so much fear in the market, so much fear in the market, but I'm loving this because it means there is a lot of shorts trapped at these lows to squeeze as we now push up higher. So I have stuck to my plan, stop loss not hit, and I am long and strong. Still have absolute full confidence in this setup, even more now we've actually seen the long lower whip through the point of control um everything's looking pretty nice so i want to talk you through a trade that i took this morning off of the three drives pattern where you had drive one drive two drive three and then i was looking for the turnaround reversal at thirteen thousand and fifty dollars this was documented in the group um i was in the short for this literally thirteen thousand and fifty dollars target this is the three drives pattern uh, this is a pattern that i'll be explaining how to trade on wednesday's live stream if you're interested in this uh but basically i was giving to the team the target of thirteen thousand and fifty dollars so that is the target for this pattern obviously at the time we were sat around thirteen thousand and one hundred and fifty dollars okay so we start to come down we start to come down and then we hit our target okay hit the target thirteen thousand and fifty dollars so what i done was close the short went into a long and then this was when i was asked how did i recognize to close out the long because i did close that out at um the high currently at the moment funny enough of thirteen thousand one hundred and eighteen dollars so there's no lag on this there's no hindsight this is just what i'm posting real in the time and then i was actually asked how did i recognize that and it was off of this reversal so what you can see here is you had the red candles, okay, straight red, 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 going down into my target. We had the first green. Then we get the green, 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 green. The first time we got the red was as soon as I saw the red forming, I literally closed out along that market and uh, went back into the short because I'm literally trading with the, you know, the, the candles I've got forming here. So we had the red down into the target which was preset you know i was aware of this level i wasn't really trading off the candle i was aware of the level that i wanted along um and then we got that we got our move back up which is actually a 0 0.5 percent move okay i got my first reversal candle and really simply switched back into the short because i'm actually looking for 13 thousand around 41 dollars i do think that we take this low um this is another setup that i have but <laughs> for not for this video um so yeah that, that's the beauty of these reversal candles red into target green obviously i could have taken this up higher but as soon as i saw my reversal candle form that's me close the position go short because we have a reversal candle um so th these are obviously not based off the time this is not a time-based interval this is a reversal candle uh very helpful and i just wanted to talk you through that setup that i shared this morning with the champions because i think it was a it was an impressive one <laughs> so uh cheers and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I love trading. I want to talk you through this setup that we had here this morning. Um, and it's when a high term time frame setup plays into the low term time frame setup and they both come together. So as you know, I longed $13,050 for a three drives target. And I closed that long and went into a short because I was actually still expecting this low to be taken out. 
first thing that i done in the morning is I, I do trading updates so every day i give a trading update to the contenders and champions and the low of my range that i was giving was thirteen thousand dollars so this is a daily update that i will give to everybody uh you get to see predictions like this um <laughs> but today's today's prediction was that we would form a range between thirteen thousand uh three hundred and thirteen thousand dollars obviously we know we've broken out of this there was no rejection up at the high but for the low i was expecting to thirteen thousand dollars Again, that was obviously with confluence of this pitchfork coming down to about $13,000, $13,040. Okay, so I had this $40, $50 region where I wanted to long. Okay, uh, on top of this, we obviously had the swing trade idea, which is still intact, and it actually played out pretty well this morning. Now, as we hit the middle of the pitchfork, as you can see here, pitchfork taken from, from the midpoint here of the three drives pattern to the low of the three drives to the high of the three drives pattern, you can see how... You couldn't really get much closer to the low of it hitting the target of the pitchfork. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's, it's it's to the dollar there. And that's obviously in confluence with it lining up with the three drives pattern. So you had both of that coming together. Well, actually, you had more than this. We had six different confluences. Off the top of my head, we also had the local CC from low to high. We were running into the CC. The point of control, which was $13,000. Previous week's point of control, which was $13,008. Um... There was just so much confluence basically at thirteen thousand dollars and on top of that you actually had all the market turning really bearish typical all the market turning really bearish as you saw es and gold also selling off with the dollar up and from hitting target well obviously this is where we close shorts go back into longs because you're at big high time time frame support locally we can see the reaction that we got off of this pretty pretty good if you ask me <laughs> but obviously this trip plays into the higher term time frame idea in case of the low term time frame, we had that $13,000 retest. But on top of that, obviously, I was laddering in longs here off of the CC. It dipped down lower, but never hit invalidation. So stop loss, not hit. And we can see it actually put in the higher low. Rise, we come down for another higher low off of the back test of $13,000. But we had the local confluence to switch long. And now here we sit at $13,600. So that's how we get low term time frame ideas and ranges and trading that well and, and well, we can we can see the reaction no resistance at all as it's just blown through everything and um yeah that's that's a low term time frame idea of thirteen thousand target and how it traded uh into the high term time frame idea which obviously i was sharing a few days ago of how i was going into that long position uh so i suppose i'll say if you want this sort of daily sort of help analysis along with um you know uh the education we, i'm doing covering this three drives pattern on uh wednesday next wednesday i'll be covering the theory behind this so if you want like the education behind this pattern as well as you know these sort of updates in the day the low term time frame ideas swing trades uh obviously uh, i'm doing a live swing trading series at the moment the last one that i done on last sunday was uh a winner we actually longed thirteen thousand dollars and took that thirteen thousand five hundred dollars that was back here um so yeah we've got pretty much everything going on at the moment education and some uh calls and everything in between <laughs> so i hope that you've enjoyed this uh video i'll put it on youtube probably tomorrow and um yeah remember to take profits at, at these levels because everybody thank you and goodbye